Uh, what's your strategy for exploration here in Angola? Well, you know, Angola has been uh, as one of our, you know, most significant assets, you know, in our in our portfolio. You know, we produce over half a million barrels uh, of oil per day in Angola, so it's a key part of the the company's uh, the company's portfolio. And I think we've been consistently investing over over recent years. You know, with Block 17, Block 32, and now we're looking at sanctioning some some new developments. You know, uh, in the in the coming months. And I think specifically in terms of exploration, we are drilling an exploration well uh, in the country at the moment, and we have a number of rigs running, which you know both in exploration and on development, which shows the you know the importance of the country to our, uh, to the overall com company's portfolio. Now I know Angola is restructuring the oil and gas sector. What projects is Total Energy is looking into investing to help increase oil production in Angola? Well, you know, say Block 17 is our legacy asset. Block 32 started up a few years ago, and now we're looking at developing Block 2021, which is an asset that, say, we've uh, we've managed to finish some, you know, good discussions with the government to have a, a framework within which we can work to try and sanction a new a new deep water project. But I think beyond that as well, you know, like in the total energies, you know, we're trying to develop a multi-energy strategy across the across the globe. So likewise in Angola, as well as investing in oil and gas, we're also now investing in renewables. And so we've, we're about to just sign a contract for a 35 megawatt uh, renewable project called Kilemba, which should start up in the end of, by, by the second half of 2024. So again, it's important for us everywhere in the world that we, we will maintain our oil and gas pool, but we'll also continue to invest in new energies as well as part of the overall transition. And that's the long-term plan, isn't it? Because slowly the world is moving away from oil and gas, which is going to take a good couple of 10 years at least into renewable energies. Is that a sustainable uh, a future for, 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 not just for Africa or for Angola, but a sustainable future overall? Well, as I say, you know, we've got two poles in the company. One, in, one is oil and gas, and one is in the is in the renewable side. So, and we will continue to invest in both. I mean, I think we heard this morning about the the demand for energy in Africa is still very is still very high. Lots of 600 million people don't have access to energy. So, I think it's important for us that we continue to invest in both in both sides.